We'll call our public hearing to order at this time. Our first item of business tonight, we do have two public hearings. Our first public hearing is going to be for ordinance number 2021-12, zoning. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2021-12, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the Mayor and Council of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section 1, that the following property owned by Robert Alexander and known as MAP 0010C04211167 Max Smith Road, current zoning R1 requests C2 special exception in property known as MAP 0010C04011181 Max Smith Road, current zoning C2 requests C2 special exception to combine both parcels to operate a used car lot. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Yes, sir, if you would come up, sign your name, and approach the podium, and... You would? Signature right there. And if you would announce your name when you get to the podium for purposes of the record. <coughs> Rick Stevens, 1199 Max Smith Road. I have some pictures I'd like to share with you of what I've endured for the last two years. Being an adjoining property owner. My name is Rick Stevens. I live at 1199 Max Smith Road. I've lived there for 34 years. Since my neighbor passed away, the property next door has changed hands twice each time the upkeep of the property has gotten worse. During the time Mr. Alexander has owned it, grass goes unmowed, junk cars and bathtubs litter yard, while utility trailers hide in the tall weeds. Bradford pears have fallen only to lay there and rot. Codes enforcement has been called, visited the property. Still no changes have been made. Mr. Alexander will show you Oh, he has shown what kind of neighbor he chooses to be. Now he'll show you a picture of a neat, well-groomed, and organized car lot. I don't think these words are in his DNA. The Planning and Zoning Commission forwarded the proposed car lot to you with reservations. There are reasons they did this. The pictures I have shown you should explain the decision. The request for a used car lot in my neighborhood doesn't have to be approved. I'm asking you to deny this car lot. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Yes, ma'am, if you would come up, sign up, sign your name here. When you go to the podium, state your name for me, please, ma'am. Thank you. My name is Sandra Wallace, and I live at 1101 Apple Brook. That is off of Steel Road. I'd like to start off by saying that the Planning Commission approved the rezoning with reservations. Could the reservations be concerns that were presented to them? Accidents, injuries, property damage, slowing traffic through the roundabout? School buses caught in traffic delaying children drop off. 
the unsightly appearance of this corner? Or could it be all the above? I want to mention once again some of the facts I foresee as major issues. It might not be every day, but it will happen, and when it happens, it will be a problem. An entrance and exit onto Max Smith Road or Steel Road would cause major problems with accidents slowing, even stopping the traffic. There is only a very short distance for traffic to exit the roundabout to be able for those vehicles that pull out of the property to stop. The traffic waiting to enter the roundabout could cause traffic to slow, even stop. School buses also will be affected, delaying the children drop off. The speed in that roundabout is 20 miles per hour. The distance exiting the roundabout to the road where the driveway is calculates 132 feet. Average length of a vehicle is 19, with one car length added to the distance in between. This only gives 3.8 vehicles driving at a speed exiting the roundabout of 25 or more before reaching that driveway to be able to stop or any vehicles behind them to also stop without having a rear end collision and resulting in property damage, even possibly injuries, not to mention the traffic at a standstill when emergency vehicles can't even get through. The corner is an eyesore for the surrounding communities, residents of Thorpe, and all the traffic that use this roundabout, including Tennessee residents coming in to Georgia, coming into to Thorpe. Fort Oglethorpe is a beautiful place to live, and they are continuing to make so many beautiful improvements. Is this what you want people to see because basically this corner is being used as a lot to sell cars, repair cars on the lot, store junk on the premises. A roundabout is designed to flow traffic smoothly through it and around it. I'm asking the council to vote against the rezoning because of all these concerns and your decision will affect every resident and anyone that uses this roundabout. Thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anyone else here that would like to speak in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Yes, sir. Come up if you would. Sign your name here. Announce your name when you go to the podium. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> My name's William Hunt. <clears throat> I live at 1245 on Steel Road, next door to the property. Um, as far as him coming in there, being respectful of the property, showing, because you have to show each and every one of us, you know, your resume as far as what you're going to do. That has not been proven. It's already been two years, and you can drive by there and look at the pictures and see yourself of the mess. Now, as far as respect, you go clean it up before all this even occurs. Uh, a lot of other issues as well. Uh, I back the neighbors. Uh, I'm not seeing no quality and no respect, and I stand for that. My backyard looks like a jungle. Drive by and look at it. Still Road 1245.
Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Mayor, it does not appear anyone else is present to speak in favor of or in opposition of the zoning amendment 2021-13. Thank 12. you. I'm sorry. 2021-12. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Mm -hmm. Our next public hearing is for zoning on ordinance number 2021-13. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2021-13, zoning amendment, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by Michael Kearney and known as MAP, 0002H015-1064 Cloud Springs Road, current zoning C1, request a C2 special exception to operate an indoor storage facility. Is there anyone here that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Mayor, no one's indicated that they'd like to speak in favor of or in opposition of the zoning amendment 2021-13. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Our third and final public hearing will be for ordinance number 2021-14. Mr. Stokes. Thank you, sir. Ordinance number 2021-14, zoning amendment, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section 1, that the following property owned by Michael Kearney and known as MAP, 0002H014, 1048 Cloud Spring Road, current zoning C1, request C2 special exception to operate an indoor storage facility. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? Come up, please, sir. If you would, sign your name and announce your name when you go to the podium. Technology. Sorry. Sorry. That's it. Um, my, my name is Mike Kearney and I own both of the properties at 1048 and 1064 Cloud Springs Road. We're going to be putting in a um, climate control storage. And I would just like to uh, thank Mr. Quarles for really working with me and uh, helping me and getting me down the road. And I just want to say thank you to him because and Mayor Gray because he called me that day and was really he, he just helped me a lot to get through a bad spot, and I really appreciate it, and thank you very much. Mike, these are both indoor. Is sir? Both of them going to be indoor? Yes, sir. Control. Yeah, I've, I've got the two buildings. They're 60 by 200s, and then the underneath the power lines are going to be camper storage or car storage or boat storage, but there'll be a, you know, either way, a fence whatever y'all want to do and then um, hopefully everything will get cleaned up like I said my wife would browbeat me right now but y'all don't know I, I get browbeat every day about getting this thing cleaned up about the depression I have about this place or whatever sometimes about all the stuff I went through with the county but anyway hopefully we're turning the corner now and we can get her done, as they say. And I really hope that things go good, but I just wanted to say thank you to Mr. Quarles. Can we put a timeline on when you will have everything cleaned up, Mr. Yeah. Green? Um, okay. Let's say uh, three months. Three let's, months. Yep, everything. Okay, like Mr. Quarles is standing there. He will check on that. Yeah, he, yeah he, he's always Mr. Even Mr. Uh, Brian's came over there before and he's got that little ticket pad out and I, and I never get mad at him I say hey y'all are doing your job and I understand it I, I you don't know how much I understand it and uh, and I understand the, the neighbors too because um, it's just been a really anyway it'll get if you don't write me a ticket for every day and we'll see how it goes 
Rick, are there landscape requirements for the? Yeah, there'll be something in, in the buffer areas. Okay. See what. Well, I didn't. Now, I guess Rick and I can talk about that later. But I had landscape stuff there before ponds and stuff, but. Um, where is it going to, just so we can see? Because you know, yeah. I've looked and I. Usually between C2 and C2, and I think there's an I1 or some more in there. Okay. But okay. it ain't going to look cheesy. I, I just spent too much money and time to. But anyway, hopefully everything will work okay. And like I said, you can hold my feet to the fire. Mr. Carls can, if I'm not doing it, he can make me pay. Very good, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Mike. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate living here. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak either in favor of or in opposition of this zoning amendment? I'm not sure, sir. He was the first one. That we close that out. Mr. Schultz said, he said he made four opposed Four opposed. No, I'm supposed to come up there talking. Mayor, do you want to open it back up? Are you the owner of the property, yes, sir? Yes, sir. And I'm you didn't understand when he asked. I was involved. I thought people was talking. Mayor, I didn't come out and get him to talk. Okay, we, we will allow you five minutes since you didn't understand what Mr. Stoltz directed. You need to come up and sign in. Thanks, sir. If you would announce your name when you go to the podium. For the record, we're opening the public hearing back up for ordinance number 2021-12. Owner of the property did not understand that he was supposed to come during that time. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, my name's Robert Alexander. I own the property of 1181 and on the corner of Steel Road. Uh, back here. That place has been there for years. Uh, uh, business been there left and right. I own it for about two years. I hadn't made my mind up what I want to do with it. So right now, it's cars there. It's not a junk. It don't look like a junk like these people are saying it does. My intention is to clean the place up, make it look real nice on the on the lot. Next door to me, it's gonna have a gas station and, and, and two more commercial buildings. My thing is, if people's got problems with that roundabout, I, I think it helps me. It helps me a lot getting in and out now. It used to be so hard to get, go through there and people coming in and out of that driveway. But now it's going to be the same way on the other side if, I mean, people just want to pay attention. It's just any kind of business, any kind of roads you go by, you got to pay attention. Um, my, my goal is to, um, is what I want is tell the whole building down, tell the whole land down. Y'all got pictures of what it looks like now? Everybody does? Um, well, I can do that. Is there like a yeah. yeah. This is what it looks like now. I mean, I, I wish it does. <laughs> this is what it's going to look like. Bill is right here. I'm going to tear it down. This is a three way garage in the office right here. I'm going to put it back here. All that's going to be together. Exit, inner, exit, flyers, all the all, all line of that. Office right here, the fence up right there. This is, this is what I want to do. Okay, this is what I want to do it now. As of right now, it is zoned for me to put oh, some cars here and sell them, but not a car lot. There's two differences. Let me explain myself. I went to Atlanta and took my license. Took, took my test. Uh, I'm a broker. I can sell cars there. There's, there's two, three different ways. I can't have a car. The only difference is I can't have a sign. I can't have a price on my cars. Okay? But I can put cars there and sell them. I have to. I got my license, a broker's license, and you 
still allowed to sell cars there. You have to. I can't take them somewhere else and sell them. So when you have your broker's license, it's weird. I don't understand it. I don't know when they do two different types of licenses. All are, all are broken licenses. So I'm allowed to sell cars there now if I choose to do that. But my goal is to make it look like this. I want to make it look way more nicer, cleaner, and make it stand out. That's what I want. Otherwise, otherwise, you got this called so good, it's, it's going to look like this. Right here. That's the, that's, it looks like a barn and cars are here. Compared to that to that, I think it's a huge difference. Huge difference. And, and, and people. People don't want to call up. I can sell cars there still. So I just got my license. So it's a it's a broker license. It's not a car license. Like I said, the zone is it's, it's weird. Zone zone C what? C2. What's it? For the poor call lot? Yeah, special Special receptor. But the only difference is I can still do this, but I can't have signs saying the call lot. I can't have prices on the windshield saying I'm selling my car. But I can mark it. I can put it on. I, I can do whatever on that. So that's that's the difference. And the man don't make sense. So well, Robert, I got to ask you. Why you ain't you haven't cleaned anything up? It does. It looks like a mess. And you say you can sell cars there, and we can do something about the coach, can't we, Rick? Okay. Yes, sir. I'll talk to Rick. Is that not right? Okay. But you hadn't made an effort at all to clean it up. What do you mean by clean it up? Explain it to me. Well, it looks like sh shit. So what's what's? I'm curious because it's got cars there. Yeah, and there and and to me, some of them's junky cars. The house next door need it needs mowing. You got junk in the back. The grass is this high. They, they, the next door, yes. My so why hadn't they cleaned it up? Because I'm convicting them out. Well, here you, you got neighbors. Now you haven't showed them anything. What? Nothing. <laughs> I haven't showed them nothing. Showed them nothing. So so what? They, so they, what? Is that place they don't put cars in to, to sell cars? Well, again. We, we do have codes in this city, and there is some things that we can do I agree. to clean that up. But you hadn't made an effort to clean it up because it looks like junk. So what would you do different? To clean I would have cleaned it up. I would have my grass mowed. I wouldn't have had that junk out in the backyard. I would have had them cars lined up. It would be clean. And that's what my that's what that's what my teacher knows because I'm convinced. Well, two out years you've been there and it. you haven't done it. Yes, yes. I mean, it had, so, it hadn't um, always been like that. Okay, let, let, let's go on. Your time's yeah. about up, so if, if you want to finish Damn. what you have to say before we add on time, Ms. Stoltz. Uh, Your Honor, with respect to the zoning matter, it's 10 minutes, it's not five. So okay, I'll let you make one final statement. Uh, the place would be cleaned up, a fact. It would be torn down. It would be torn down completely, a new building, and it will look way better than it does now. That's 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 just that's 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 why I want to call on. Okay. Either way, thank you, sir. All right, thank, thank you, thank you. Rick. Could you explain the difference between that, the broker? And, yeah, I'm kind of curious broker. about that now. A broker can operate out of a, a building. We done closed it. Cars on the lot. Our orders don't allow you to have a car on the lot if you're an auto broker. You can have an office in there and sell. You know, nobody knows what they're doing in there. You can have cars somewhere else. But you're selling them online. I see. You just can't store them on there. That's okay. And there's a, uh, there's a, there's a number too that you yeah, have. Yeah, or you just, I know you have to, car has to be yeah. on the lot to sell. Well, I just mean our ordinance, our auto broker, or our ordinance. If, if you have your building there and you're selling cars on the line or on the computer, you just can't have them on the lot as an auto broker. But if you're an auto dealer, you have to get it approved. Yeah. Isn't it ten, Rick, that you can have total as a broker or? Without having, I read, I said 10 years. Yeah, we can yeah. have something, but, but the main, the big, big thing is, is just if you, if you have them on the line, you have to have a, a dealer's. Yeah, I need to have to have a, you don't have an outline for that.
this has been going on since April. Since April, to claim that right there. Ma'am, ma'am, if I could, for the record, we need your name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You don't. You don't. You, you can go to the podium. Just j announce your name, please, ma'am. I'm sorry. I just. My name is Joyce Smith, and I live in Briarstone. And this has been going on. I came to the first meeting here in April when Mr. Alexander was trying to get that approved. And it, he's not cleaned it up since April. He's that's April, May, June, July, August, September. He's had five months, and he's not cleaned it up. So, you know, it just, he's not doing... He's not trying to be a good neighbor, and, and he did bring up the point that there's always been a business there. But s since there was a business there, Briarstone's been built. I've lived there 18 years. Applebrook has been built. Sunset Meadows has been built. Justin is building all those new houses down Steel Road on the opposite side of Steel Road. He's, Justin Hunt has built those apartments there. And now it's my understanding that Mr. Henry Stephen Henry is building houses across the street on Steel Road from Delray Baptist Church. All that road, he's cut a new road in there. So traffic is unreal on Steel Road and Max Smith Road now. And I, I know Mr. Alexander says he's going to make that look nice, but um, I just don't think that's big enough. That whole area is not big enough for the type of business. And he says he wants to put signs up. What kind of signs? advertising the car lot so I don't know but I know I would be very very disappointed with any more traffic coming down through there I mean it is a mess now so thank you thank you ma'am okay Mr. Stoltz if you would do a final close out on the public here <laughs> Does anyone else want to speak either in favor of or in opposition of ordinance number 2021-14, which is Michael Kearney? The mayor, it doesn't appear that anyone else is present either for or against that zoning ordinance. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. This concludes our public hearing. At this time, we will call our regularly scheduled council meeting to order. Mr. Stoltz, if you would, please call the roll. Yes. Mayor Earl Gray. Here. Councilman Jim Childs. Here. Councilman Craig Crawford. Here. Councilman Derek Rogers. Here. Council Lady Rhonda James. Here. Council Lady Mayor Pro Senate. Here. <laughs> I'll just answer to it. It's All okay. Right. <laughs> Let the record show we do have a quorum for tonight's meeting. This time we'll do our invocation and our pledge. Miss James, if you would please do the invocation. Mr. Child, lead us to the pledge, please. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for bringing us all back safely together. We pray that this meeting is done in accord to what you would have us to do as far as our knowledge and make the best decisions for the citizens. We pray for our children as they've gone back to school. We pray for their safety. We pray for the teachers and all the staff that's teaching them. Also, Lord, we pray for our country. And we ask all these blessings in Christ's name. Amen. 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 I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll set the agenda for tonight's meeting. Ms. Hughes, any additions or any deletions that we need to make? No, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the agenda will be as printed. I'll entertain a motion to approve the agenda as printed. Make a motion. Second, sir. Motion, Mr. Crawford. Second by Mr. Childs. All in favor say aye. 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 Agenda is set. Okay. First item on the agenda is the minutes of the previous council meeting. If members of council have had an opportunity to review the minutes from our August 26th meeting, I will entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Rogers. Any discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is ordinances. Ordinance number one is the first and the final reading for ordinance number 2021-12. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2021-12, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof. Section one, that the following property owned by Robert Alexander and known as MAP 0010C042, 1167 Max Smith Road, current zoning R1 request C2 special exception and property known as MAP 0010C040181 Max Smith Road, current zoning C2 request C2 special exception to combine both parcels to operate as a used car lot. Said property is particularly described in Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. <coughs> Section 2, if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect and impair other parts of this ordinance, unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the Mayor and Council. First reading, 13th day of September, 2021. Mayor? Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Last call for a motion. No motion made. Ordinance number 2021-12 fails for lack of a motion. Next item on the agenda, item number two under ordinances is the final reading of ordinance number 2021-13. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2021-13, zoning amendment, be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one, that the following property owned by Michael Kearney and known as MAP 0002H015-1064 Cloud Springs Road, current zoning, C1 requests C2 special exception to operate an indoor storage facility. Said property is particularly described in the exhibit A attached to this ordinance, section two. If any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity and unconstitutionality shall not affect and impair other parts of this ordinance, unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the Mayor and Council, first reading 13th day of September 2021. Mayor? Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Crawford, second by Mr. Childs. Any discussion? Three months. If I don't, you start writing me some tickets, because I can't tell you real quick. I'll say it'll be done in a month. I'll hold you to it, sir. I know you will be you always will. Yes. Thank Any you. other discussion? Mr. Childs? Yes. Mr. Crawford? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Ms. James? Yes. Ms. Stinney? Yes. Motion for zoning carries unanimous. Item number three under ordinances. Final reading of ordinance number 2021-14. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2021-14, zoning amendment, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained but ordained by authority thereof. Section 1, that the following property owned by Michael Kearney and known as MAP, 0002H014-1048 Cloud Springs Road, current zoning C1, request C2 special exception to operate indoor storage facility. Said property is particularly described as Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. Section 2, if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect and impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the Mayor and Council. Final reading tonight, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Motion by Ms. James, second by Mr. Childs. 
Any discussion? <coughs> Miss Stennett? Yes. Miss James? Yes. Mr. Rogers? Yes. Mr. Crawford? Yes. Mr. Child? Yes. Motion on ordinance number 2021-14 carries unanimous. Item number four under ordinances is the second reading of ordinance number 2021-15. Mr. Stokes. City of Fort Oakthorpe, State of Georgia, ordinance number 2021-15. It is hereby ordained by, ordained by the governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe an ordinance to repeal and replace the Code of Ordinances, City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, Chapter 74, Streets, Sidewalks, and Other Public Places, Article 3, Parades and Demonstrations, Section 7471, said ordinance to govern the use of the city's streets, sidewalks, and other public places for purposes of parades and assembly for all reasons, to provide for the provisions therein as authorized by state law, to provide for modification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances or parts thereof to provide for an adoption effective date and for all other purposes allowed by law. Whereas the duly go elected governing authority in the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the Official Code of Georgia Annotated 36353 and the Charter of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the public health, safety, welfare, and aesthetics of the citizens of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia and whereas the mayor and council envision an improved methodology for application and administration of public use of the city's public ways and spaces for parades, assembly, demonstrations, and whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe is, is Georgia is vested in the city council composed of a mayor and five council members, and whereas this ordinance shall repeal and replace the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, chapter 74, street sidewalks, and other public places, article three, Three parades and demonstrations. Section 1. The City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, Chapter 74, Street Sidewalks and Other Public Places, Article 3, Parades and Demonstrations, Section 7471, is hereby repealed in its entirety and replaced as follows. This ordinance is available for public view in the clerk's office and it'll be a third reading next council meeting. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Next item on the agenda is new business. Item number one under new business, proposed approval to procure a 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee Sport Utility Vehicle. Chief Sewell. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, Council. The Police Department currently, the Criminal Investigations Division, currently operates three Volkswagen Passat vehicles. These were purchased in May of 2012, just after Volkswagen started producing the Passat. Uh, these vehicles are approaching the end of their service lives and are in need of replacement. The police department did solicit quotes from four vendors for the purchase of one 2021 Grand Cherokee Sport Utility Vehicle. Jenkins Chrysler Dodge Jeep provided the lowest and most responsive quote of $32,510 with the ability to provide this vehicle within 30 days of approval. If approved, the police department will declare as surplus one 2012 Volkswagen Passat with previous accident damage. I request approval. Thank you, Chief Sewell. I have a motion to approve. Motion, sir. Second. Motion by Ms. Stennett, second by Mr. Rogers. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number two, under new business, proposed approval to procure one 2021 Dodge Ram 1500 truck. Chief Sewell. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Police department assists with many special events within the community. These events require transportation of various items such as barricades, traffic cones, tents, coolers, and personnel. With the number of special events currently planned and plans to develop more within the community, the police department is in need of a truck to transport this equipment to and from these events. Additionally, the police department supports Support Services Division also has a need for a truck to assist in duties such as recovering large evidence items and transportation of training materials to and from the firing range and other police training functions. The police department did solicit quotes from four vendors for the purchase of one 2021 Ram Dodge Ram 1500 truck 
Jenkins Chrysler Dodge Incorporated provide the lowest and most responsive quote of $35,955 with the ability to provide this vehicle within 30 days of approval. If approved, the police department would declare a surplus one 2005 Crown Victoria that has surpassed its service life and is in need of replacement. I'd recommend approval. Have a motion to approve. So moved, sir. Second. Motion by Ms. Stennett, second by Mr. Childs. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you. <clears throat> Item number three. Proposed approval to award agricultural design services contract for tennis and pickleball courts at Gilbert Stevenson Park. Mr. Long. Yes, the <clears throat> city's intentions is to build new tennis courts and pickleball courts combined uh, at the rear walking track there in the center of, of the rear paved track. Discussed with uh, top some developers or designers that uh, do this and also spoke with uh, Heritage High Schools or the county's maintenance department there. They, uh, this company here with uh, DH Architects, they, they did the ones that Heritage had to rebuild those and uh, uh, it was highly recommended by the school board the work that they, they did on this. So requesting, we got a proposal from them for $43,500 and requesting approval for the design. Have a motion to approve? Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Crawford. Any discussion? So four and a half months. Yeah, and this, they will do the, uh, this all the way from designing it, and they'll do the bid proposals, and uh, then the architect will also be there inspecting as, through the construction phase. Yes. Are they gonna figure out how many we can fit? Yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Okay. Yeah, we don't know as, a good question. A, as, I mean, as of right Hopefully now. as many as possible. Yeah. And it will be combined with tennis courts and pickleball next yeah. to it. Okay, good. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number four. Proposed approval to renew the city's membership of the Northwest Georgia Regional Commission. Ms. Hume. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Council. Uh, the City of Fort Oglethorpe is a member of the Northwest Georgia Regional Commission. This provides, our membership provides uh, resources and assessments to the city each year. The commission also develops the joint comprehensive plans for the county and the cities of Fort Oglethorpe and Ringgold every so often, every five or ten years. Uh, if approved, this will renew the membership for the next fiscal year. And it is in the amount of $9,994 out of the general fund. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Rogers, second by Mr. Crawford. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number five. Proposed approval to amend engineering services contract for Highway 41 water and sewer project. Ms. Hume. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Actually, this that is a bit of a typo. This is actually the proposed approval of an engineering services contract with CP CTI for the design and bidding services for direct connection, Highway 41 and Pegram Circle sewer projects in the amount of $82,500. Um, the lines at Direct Connection and Pegram Circle are in need of rehabilitation. The sewer line recently put into place by the city at Highway 41 also needs to be extended to allow for additional connections uh, for surrounding businesses. CTI has provided a quote for these services pursuant to their agreement with the city for engineering services that has been in place for several years now. Uh, this will provide construction administration, design, bidding services for these projects. And then once completed, these projects will allow additional businesses on Highway 41 to connect to the sewer lines um, and will rehabilitate old sewer lines on direct connection in Pegram Circle. And by fixing these lines, it will reduce um, our infiltration and inflow um, when a rain event occurs. So this is for $82,500 out of the water and sewer fund. And if you have any questions about the, um, the specifics, Mr. Johnson from our public utilities department, is here as well. Thank you, Ms. Hume. Just for the record, this is actually three different projects. The reason we combined them together was to get a better price. 
they were so small if you went out to bid with them on each one it probably would have been a lot higher so putting them together as one we were able to get a lot more competitive bid because they're all in the same general area and the same contractor can actually do them all so it enabled us to get a better price rather than putting them all out for bids. That, that's why it's kind of confusing the way it's written. Uh, motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Child, second by Mr. Rogers. Now that I've said that, if there's any questions or discussion, I'm sure Mr. Johnson will be able to answer it for you if anybody has any questions. Saving money. It's saving us money by doing it this way. Yeah. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Item number six, proposed approval to procure and install a rooftop HVAC unit for the 100 hallway in City Hall. Ms. Hugh. Thank you, Mayor and Council. These next two items actually are about our renovation of our, of our 100 hallway. We're moving the finance department and some other staff down that 100 hallway to make better use of, of the entire building. Um, and the air unit down there has reached the end of its useful life and as winter approaches our staff that will be inhabiting that building in the next that part of the building the next couple months will need heat um, so uh, the building planning and zoning department solicited quotes from three vendors and air comfort provided the lowest most responsive quote in the amount of nine thousand eight hundred sixty eight dollars and seventy eight cents and that will come out of the general fund thank Mr. you Ms. Quarles is here if you all have any questions thank you Miss Hume I have a motion to approve. So moved, sir. Second. Motion by Ms. Stennett, second by Mr. Childs. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Item number seven. Proposed approval to procure and install carpet in 100 hallway of City Hall. Ms. Hugh. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, again, with the renovation of the 100 hallway, as staff begins to move down that hall, um, we do need to put new flooring down there. So we, uh, again, the building planning and zoning department solicited quotes from three different vendors, and uh, one response was received from Southern Home Flooring Specialist in the amount of $22,088.75. If approved, the work will take approximately 30 days and it'll include the removal of the existing flooring and installation of the new carpeting and the rubber base covers. Um, and this would come out of the general fund. Thank you, Ms. Hume. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Motion by Mr. Childs, second by Mr. Rogers. Any discussion? Ms. Hume or Mr. Quarles, one. Carpet is best in lieu of a tile floor or laminate flooring for cleanliness and mold, etc. Is, is it what better? Yes. Cost wise, we don't have the, the availability of the, of the uh, freezers that we had in the past that could even lay the, the LVT down. And it always speak up just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> speak up. Uh, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the prisoners are not available to do some of this work that we had them do in the past, but the availability of that hallway needs to be pretty soon. Well, but also I think too with um, with the staff down there, carpeting keeps it a little bit warmer. A little um, insulation. Yeah, it provides insulation yeah. and less noise for the staff down there working. Carpet insulates it a little bit more. Just like when when we did the court had to have carpeting as well less clicking and stuff for the staff actually working back there. Okay. And it's tile, so each piece, if something happens, a piece can be pulled up and replaced. Okay. It'd be a lot easier to repair it. Great, thank you. Okay. And they can't uh -oh. hear me coming. Uh-oh, <laughs> sneak up on it. That is a good reason. <laughs> Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda is city manager report. Ms. Hume. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just a couple of things tonight. Just want to remind everybody that we still do have a drive-through testing at the Colonnade, rapid testing Mondays and Wednesdays from 10 to 4. Um, all of these services are appointment. Um, they are, you do need to make appointments, but the services are free. There are drive-through vaccinations at the Colonnade, the Pfizer vaccination on Thursday from 5 to 7, and then free COVID vaccinations at the Health Department. That's the Moderna vaccination, Monday through Friday from 9 to 4 p.m. Again, all free services. You just need to call and make an appointment, or you can do so on each of those entities' websites. 
And uh, secondly, and lastly for me, um, I just want to say thank you to our pool staff um, and our pool manager, Cindy Lawson, for a fantastic pool season. This past Labor Day, Cindy told me that this was the best season with the best lifeguards and concession staff that she thinks we've ever had. So thank you so much to them and to Roger Costner, our park supervisor, and to Jeff Long and his wonderful Public Works crew for making this such a fun season. Thank you guys very much. And that's it for me. Thank you, Miss Hume. Next item on the agenda is Mayor and Council reports. She stole a little bit of my thunder. I was just going to congratulate our Parks and Rec Department on the I think we had less problems and less complaints this year at the pool than we've had in 12 years that I've been hanging around here. So, And they were doing it under some pretty tough circumstances with this COVID. And, you know, we had two swim meets and it was, uh, it was a very successful year. We, it, the pool's a great asset to this city. So hats off to Mr. Long. Mr. Childs. Yeah, I've got one comment. I just want to thank our police department. A lot of rumors going around. And we're going to settle. <laughs> There's nothing going to happen to them. Tell them to look at our budgets over the last seven years and what we got going forward. We have a great police department. And I just, as long as I'm here, at least I ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Child. Mr. Crawford. I'd echo what uh, Mr. Child said, Chief So We've got your back 110%. And we appreciate your. Uh, police department and everything y'all do for the city and keeping us safe. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. Mr. Rogers. I'm going to say the same thing. Um, it's political season, so you're going to have some of that. Um, and uh, we're so thankful for you and your team. And uh, we're, we support you 100%. So thank you. Miss James. I don't have anything tonight. Thank you, Miss Jane. Miss Stennett. Yes, sir. Of course. Chief Sewell, it is that political arena, but as you know, you and I have worked together strongly with Honor Park, a tribute to those who serve in the other events here. I know you've always got my back, and I have yours. Thank you, sir, and your team. Which brings me to the Fort Oglethorpe Veteran and Citizen Council will be meeting on Saturday, October the 2nd, 9 a.m. at Honor Park, a tribute to those who serve. Those who serve includes military veterans, police, fire, emergency first responders, and all those who serve. We'd love to see you there to participate and be part of Honor Park. Also, on November the 6th will be our first ever honoring those who serve parade and festival. Check out our Facebook page, the city's website for more information. And October the 30th, on Saturday, October the 30th, will be the second annual Halloween Spooktacular. Last year we had about 400, 450 little spookables who came through for treats and information for the parents from a multitude of organizations. So I hope to see you there partaking in free family fun in Fort Oglethorpe. Honor Park, a tribute to those who serve, is located on Claiborne Street, right off of Shelby Street, here in historic Fort Oglethorpe. Anything else, Mr. Kearney? No. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Motion by Mr. Second. Crawford, second by Mr. Childs and Mr. Rogers. All in favor say aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>